Welcome to 32. It's Miss Molly here. And just like last week when we learned how to draw a turkey with Miss Molly, this week, since our theme is communities, I thought we'd learn how to draw a house. Remember when we were talking about all different kinds of communities we belong to? And our home community is one of them. So I figured we could draw a house. What you're going to need to follow along is a piece of paper of any kind, colored, white, any kind of paper you have, a pencil with an eraser, because we will be erasing some things we draw, and because sometimes we make mistakes, and coloring tools, any kind you have, markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you want to color with after we draw it. Now, we're going to start by putting our paper sideways like this. So, instead of the long way like this, we flip it right over to the side. Then we're going to get out our pencil and also, guys, at any point while I'm doing these steps, if you need a minute to finish yours, and I'm going a little too fast, feel free to pause the video and then continue and you can keep following along. So now that we're ready to draw, we're going to start on the left side of our paper right about here. I am going to draw a straight line up and then a straight line down just like an arrow. Whoops. I think I might erase that because I have a little crookedness in my arrow. Let's try again. Straight line up, straight line down. There's an arrow. Now, starting at this right over here where this arrow ends, we're going to draw another one. And they're going to crisscross. Straight line up, straight line down. Now we're going to erase one line, which is this line right here. So flip your pencil over for your eraser and carefully erase starting at the top of the arrow and then go down. But you don't want to erase any of this line, so we'll skip that part and then continue down here. And when you're done erasing, flip your pencil over again and get ready to continue drawing. So now we're going to start at the top of this point and draw a straight line across to the other top of the arrow. So we're going to go straight across here. We're going to draw a few straight lines like that. Next, we're going to start at this point right here and go straight across to the other one. And when you're done with that, at the point we just ended at, we'll go straight across to the last one. <clears throat> and look, we have our roof, guys. Next, We'll do our chimney before we start with the body of the house. We're going to erase a little bit more. Just a little section right here. And then draw a rectangle going straight up. There's my chimney. All right, guys, and now we'll start with the body of the house. So right down here at this corner is where we'll begin. With a straight line down again. And then next is the other corner where we draw our other straight line across. Now we're going to do a straight line down. And then we have one more corner 
to draw a line down from. So we'll start here and go straight down. You want to make sure they're all about the same length. Next, we're going to start with straight lines across again, guys. So right at this bottom of the line, we will take our pencil and go straight across one more time. And then once more from there to the last line. And look, we have the shape of a house. What else does a house need? How about a door? We can do a door next and then some windows. So right in this area is where I'm going to draw my front door. I like to make mine a big rectangle shape. And after that, I will put a little circle right here and color it in for a doorknob. My door has a big window on it, so I'm going to add that with a big rectangle shape. And I will draw a line straight down the middle and straight across. To show the window. Next, we have to draw some more windows. And the cool thing about different houses and different windows is sometimes people have circle windows, triangle windows. You can make any shape window you would like. For mine, I usually, I like to put two squares above my door. like this and then a long rectangle window on the side and sometimes I even put a circle window up on the roof just like that now I will add lines into my windows Sometimes I do more lines, sometimes I do less. It's all up to however you want your windows to look. And once you're done with your windows, we'll move on to our next step. Now that we have a house, let's draw a little bit of a background. I'm going to make a big happy sun at the top of my page. So in my top right corner up here, I'm going to do a big half circle. And then I will add some spikes to the outside going all the way around. Next, I'm going to draw where my grass ends and the sky begins by just doing a squiggly line straight across on both sides of the house. I'll fix that one. And you can also show that there's grass here by adding some spikes like this all over. We will color it after and then we'll see the grass. And if you'd like, you can add some bushes to your house. So in the front of my house, I'm going to add a big bush on both sides of the door. just by drawing these cloud-like shapes. And maybe I'll put a taller one on the side. Now, 
Next, I'll make some clouds in the sky. Just like those bushes, I will make longer shapes to look like clouds. There we go. And if you'd like to add some birds in the sky, I usually draw them like this. Like a big V with two lines coming off the side. So line, V, line. You can draw as many or as few as you'd like. You can even make the lines a little slanted so they look more wing-like. I made a mistake there, so I'm going to erase a little and start over. Art is all about making mistakes and correcting them, and sometimes you make a mistake and you do something you didn't mean to do, and it looks a little cooler than you were trying to do in the first place. Now, guys, look at our house. I think we're ready to color. So let's get out our markers and our crayons or colored pencils, whatever you have, and start coloring. And once you're done coloring, guys, feel free to send me a picture on Class Dojo because I would love to see how yours comes out. I am going to share a picture of my finished product after this video if you swipe over to the right you can see it all right and also if you'd like leave me some comments on what you'd like to learn how to draw next i'd love some ideas from you kids all right have a good day see you tomorrow bye